so now when we are passing our user ID to our client, we can just get it there and when we uh, upload the pictures, we will just add ID to our request and then we will write ID to the table with our pictures and we don't even need to change uh, the schema of our uh, database because uh, no SQL database uh, doesn't require any schema actually. You can just uh, put uh, any fields to your document. We're gonna get our user ID uh, from backend and save it to cookie. And then with every uh, request that we do to upload the pictures, we will send this ID to backend. So let's go to our client and uh, in our user login uh, we have this access token, expires and refresh token and we will just get a user ID as well and we will set it here. It is not happy because here we don't have our user ID. Let's add it. So uh, now we saved it. And if we go to our browser and we try to log in, you see we've got the user ID that is undefined. And it is undefined because it is actually not a user ID, but it's this sub so let's change the name yeah here and here you could change it on the back end just for consistency but i'm just lazy to be honest let's log out and log in again and now we have our user id now when we saved it to our cookies Let's go to our template, our uploader component. And here you see we are adding file at our form data. We're going not only add the file, we're also going to add um, user ID. And we will get it from cookies. We don't have these cookies imported here, so use cookies and we want to use our user ID was it that syntax mm, it is array so it should be an array here we can just pass cookies user ID ah yes here just also array sorry I forgot a bit and here we have to add uh, curly braces to our function. Frontend looks good to me. We are passing the user ID. So now in our function on the backend that uploads pictures, was it safe photo? Yes. So here we will the structure from our event not only files but also user id and here in the save file we will pass two parameters file and user id and then in this function again we also add user id and how we're gonna use this user id first thing that we're gonna do uh, now uh, we save all our files in the same bucket and if two users will save the file with the same name the uh, latest file will overwrite the older one so uh, we want to make a separate subfolder uh, for our files for every user uh, its own subfolders. So let's create a key. Uh, and uh, in AWS buckets, uh, you don't have to, to create actual subfolder. You can just 
uh, define the path that will have this like slash. So it's going to be just user ID, then slash and file name. And this key we are putting here, we put it here in the main bucket and in thumbnail bucket. bucket. So where else we want to put it? Uh, so here as well, I think we need to replace it with our key instead of just file name. Oops, just key and key. Where we add to the DynamoDB, we want to add another property to our document. So it's gonna be. You can make it like author ID or user ID, whatever you prefer. Let's do it user ID. Another thing that we want to do in our get photos, you see where we format the response. We are creating this link that we display to our thumbnail and it's just item name. So we want here to be uh, item a user ID as well because we changed the path. So now we can try and uh, upload a picture to our application. So let's go to pictures. Let's select one. I think I uploaded the picture. Ah, oh, this uh, sharp module, the model that resizes thumbnails. Honestly, I'm sick of this. I just will comment it out because uh, you know, when I deployed it, uh, built the Linux version for this module and now I'm on the Mac and it tries to run this Linux version and it gives me an error. So I have to go every time and run yarn install. Uh, and uh, I guess there is a solution to fix it, but I just don't want to focus on it right now. So the thumbnail is going to be just I'll comment this and this. So it's just gonna be file content for now. I will not upload huge files. And before I deploy, I will just uncomment this stuff. So uh, let's just restart our backend and let's try to upload our parrot picture. Oh, it's here. So, okay, we have our user ID and um, but the problem now is that even if we log out and uh, log in with another user, we will still be able to see the pictures of all other users that uploaded them before. And we don't want it. We want only to show pictures that belong to the current user. And just for the testing purposes, we will log out and log in with a different user. Okay, here we are getting the same picture, but what? Why undefined? Yeah, I think I need to fix this error because now even if we get an error, our user still is able to log in and see pictures. So let's fix it. What's going on here? I'm choosing test two. I'm choosing QWERTY and this is wrong. So this is an exception and we need to handle it. So if we go to our login, no, this is a backend login. We need our client login. So client login. So we have our own success callback. So let's fix our uh, login. Uh, let's add some kind of error handling. So this is the response that uh, we get in when uh, the username and password is wrong. So what we can do is just to check for status code. Here in uh, our uh, login mutation, we have this unsuccess callback. And what we're gonna do here is we want to check this response. 
what it returns, if it returns uh, status code 200 or some other one. So you can see I uh, printed it here in uh, console log. So let's go and check what it will return if we try to log in with the wrong uh, credentials. And uh, here in console log, we can see that status is 400. And if you do a successful, it will be 200. So what you're gonna do here is just to check for a response status. And if it's 200, then we just move this part there. And if not, then we will just I'll just throw an error. So now let's try. We try to log in again. And you see nothing happens because we prevent it to happen. We have this error here and that's it. We can also show some kind of an error message here in our form. So we go to user form. So let's uh, create uh, some kind of state for that. Error. Set error. Use state. It's going to be null and import state. So here, um, if we have an error here, we will just set error. Um, email or password is wrong. And we can just pass our error here to login form and we already have some kind of uh, validation uh, made by our uh, react hook form and we can just also do this error Yeah, we need to get it from props here. Oh, what's going on here? What's wrong? So it's not... And we need to fix a type here as well. Okay, so if we try again, we have this error message. We can style it properly to make it red, to, diff uh, to make it appear nicely. We also want to reset this error message when we change our fields. If we want to reset our uh, error on change of uh, our email or password inputs, or we can use um, API of React hook forms for that. We can just add here, let's say on change, and we're adding some callback where we can say set error, no, no, set error, I said. Uh, and we will copy it over to our password. And what we want to do else, we want to pass set error from login component to our form. So now let's check it again. Uh, it complains because the parameter is required. Let's make it optional. And here on change, we're gonna do this. 
a little bit rarely looking syntax, but we're just checking if uh, the parameter exists and then if it exists, if the function that we passed are uh, not undefined or no, we will call it. So now trying to see the error message and then when we change something, it disappears. Uh, what, what I was going to do now when we fixed our users, I'm just going to try to log in with another user. I'm pretty sure I've got some here. Let's just open Cognito, test 3, QWERTY. Yeah, we're logged in. Uh, we still see this parrot, but what we want to do now, we want to add some picture from the different user. We will upload another parrot and here it is. So if you go here and you see we have two items and they have different user ID. And now we're gonna filter them out and for every user we will show only one picture that belongs to him. 